Hey everyone, I'm a product manager with the Outlook extensibility team. And today we'll talk about add-in support for new Outlook. So what is new Outlook for Windows? So it is an initiative where we want to simplify things for customers by unifying our code base and increase engineering velocity. New Outlook is essentially over code in a native frame. And the new Outlook for Windows is already available for Office Insiders. You can check out our public documentation using the link shared here to learn more about it as well. We also look at this as an opportunity to get a consistent experience across platforms. If you look at it today, we have different clients for Outlook like Windows, Web, Mobile, Mac. As a long term vision, we want to unify the code and UX to have one consistent platform with new Outlook. So with that context in place, let's see the add-in support on new Outlook for Windows. I'll start with web add-ins and Juan, the next speaker, will also talk about the com add-ins. So firstly, uh, new Outlook is uh, only available for Windows right now. You can use the toggle at the top right corner to move to new Outlook. This means that the current and the new Outlook will exist in parallel for now. The good and the big news here is that web add-ins are already available for new Outlook and it doesn't require any additional work from partners. You can start using it today uh, if you have an account uh, with insiders. However, in, in case you have multiple accounts in Outlook, web add-ins are currently available only for the primary account and it will be disabled if you move to another account. We expect the full add-in support for secondary accounts to come in by fall of 2023. I like to call out that this is a very good time to test out your add-ins on new Outlook because many of your users will start seeing this toggle. Please reach out to us if you face any issue while using your add-in using the GitHub link mentioned here in the slide. So yeah, with that, I'll ask Juan to walk us through an update for com add-ins on new Outlook for Windows. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Nikita. So. I have many updates for you folks. I'm, I'm so happy to be here this morning to talk about, you know, what the, what we are doing for new Outlook. But I want to start by kind of, I think we shared this, this message a long time ago, but uh, I want to share what the new Outlook means for developers, for adding developers. So my main message for you folks today is that, as Nikita mentioned, the new Outlook, it's based on the, it's going to be based on the web client. So. So that means that COM and BSTO add-ins for Outlook are not going to work, you know, in the new Outlook. So it's not going to be an option. Uh, the good news here is, well, I have many good news here, is that, uh, well, web add-ins are the future. So many of you have already invested in creating a web add-in, and that's great because your add-in should just work uh, in the new Monarch. So as Nikita shared, we recently updated the new Outlook to support add-ins. So make sure to try your add-ins and they should work right now, you know, uh, and if not, please, please, we want to hear from you. We need our help from the, for our community to, to make this a successful transition. Many people ask, when is this going to happen? And the answer to this question is that uh, we don't know, but I want to give you, we're giving the clear signal that, you know, this is going to happen at some moment in time. Uh, the rollout, the rollout to try the preview is happening, as you can see today uh, in the preview builds. Uh, for real production customers, it's going to start to happen this year. So we look at this as a journey. And uh, if you if you remember the project we did uh, a few months ago around the new Mac UI for Outlook, uh, that preview stayed there, or it was a multi-year transition. Also, we we don't know exactly when this is going to happen, but we are going to make this this transition responsibly. Uh, making sure that 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 uh, we, number one, in the in, irrespective of add-ins, that the product itself uh, it, it's in, on par with what what you can do with the desktop Outlook today, right? So with that, again for add-in developers, now is the right time to engage with us. We are investing. I will share in my next uh, slide uh, so that you can see uh, all the great strides that the team is doing. We know that we, there might be some some gaps no, that prevent you from moving your existing Outlook com add-ins to web add-ins. So this link, please use this link, uh, will take you to a survey where where you can actually contact us and and share you know the gaps that are present in your add-ins and and we can start adding them to to our backlog. So as I said before, 
so this is a, a big slide, I should, uh, a big slide, but I want to share with you how are we closing these gaps, right? We recently post, uh, posted uh, actually yesterday for the first time a page that is going to be very useful for this process. And basically this is a live page. If you go to AKMS slash Outlook come to web status, you're going to see a page that is going to give you information about uh, what the new Outlook means for you. And not only that, we will also share the status of different scenarios that could can be implemented today. Now, as, as you can see here in this list, what I'm listing in this table, each row represents a scenario. So basically we we have the information about what are the top commands that are used out there, uh, the, the millions of users uh, still using commands. And, and basically we, do, we did a classification of those add-ins and we ended up with a list of what are the most popular and enterprise kind of friendly because uh, there are there are some add-ins that are in fact mission critical as you can see from this list uh, that are the most popular ones no uh, and this is the list that we ended up with we we ended up with a bunch of security types of add-ins which are by far the most important segment and you can see a lot of our investments are towards satisfying those uh, scenarios uh, but we have some reporting we have online meeting providers uh, we have add-ins that are kind of uh, what we call meeting boosters that are adding additional functionalities to appointments, like for example, uh, selecting locations or adding catering services, uh, or there are add-ins that provide, you know, capabilities to specify specific lighting or temperature configurations to a meeting room and so on and so forth. This list is basically telling you three things, no? Uh, number one, what are the scenarios that we are kind of focusing right now? So if you don't see the scenario you're adding here, I also want to hear from you. I want to make sure that you are covered. Although I, I gotta say, these add-ins are very complex. So it's like uh, they require a lot of rich interactions with, with Outlook. And I believe that uh, by enabling many of these scenarios, I think we're, we're gonna enable a big number of other potential scenarios, right? Just to give you an idea here, well, again, it's telling you what is a scenario, more or less a brief description of the scenario, what is the status today? So if you are about to start a journey to create an adding into these types of scenarios, uh, I think uh, as you can see here with the effort that we've been doing for the last many years, you can actually support multiple of these ones, right? Uh, there are a bunch of spam reporting and education add-ins out there. Uh, that doesn't mean that we are not going to invest in those scenarios. We, they are, the scenario is fully supported. We believe that you can create an experience, a super good experience with a web add-in, but we are also adding more, even more features to make them even better, right? Just to give you one example, we have a, a many spam reporting partners who are, uh, we, there's a consolidation of the spam reporting experience across Outlook clients today, and, and we're gonna provide extensibility points for, for to participate in that consolidation project. Uh, they require more events. You know, for example, today, uh, if you follow Outlook Adams, you will know that we have events that auto launch when you are composing emails or when you are creating new emails or adding recipients, basically in the composition scenario, uh, but not in the reading scenario. So we, we, we require more uh, events for when you are actually reading emails. So uh, online meeting providers, you know, uh, we recently set out the auto run capabilities for online signature partners, uh, but I want to focus the conversation more in the ones that are semi-supported, no? so which are attachment management types of solutions. Uh, and in the last column, you you will see features that currently our team is working on, you know, in order to support them. Uh, for the attachment management, for example, we have strong feedback that you require to select multiple items. You know, so you want to upload, for example, a set of items into SharePoint, for instance. Uh, well, today that doesn't work with web addings. No? You can only select one item at a time. So we are supporting now multi-selection, multiple selection, context-less addings, which means basically that your adding can be present even if no items are selected, or if you are not in the reading, in the reading, if you don't have a reading pane active. Uh, that is very important for certain type of addings. And, and again, we are right now focusing a lot in security scenarios. So for example, you will see that for message encryption scenarios, when you encrypt and decrypt email content, we're going to be working in some capabilities for, for example, body replacement. Today, you can get a long way in these types of scenarios, but the last mile, which is on encrypting the message and showing it in the body of the of the email, is not supported. Also, we are working on a body replacement API. 
And then we have, you know, the DLP types of solution, data loss preventions that requires access to the sensitivity labels and, and many other features, right? So that is what, what I want to share with you is this information is going to be live. It's out there. If you go to that link, check it out. Uh, there are some scenarios that we definitely today we, I, we could not support in the way we would love. Uh, like, for example, proofing emails. You know, if you want to you if you want to provide information while the user is typing a message or providing kind of assistance or uh, uh, proofing capabilities, this this is, will be super complex to be supported. However, it's also in the backlog, so eventually we will have this this type of functionalities. No? I'm going to stop there for a second and see if there are any interesting questions here. I see that uh, there's a lot of activity in the chat. It includes BBA, yes. Uh, BB, BBA is it's also not going to be supported in the new in the new outlook. Mm. Smart alerts, yes. Uh, smart alerts, that's cool. Uh, okay. Uh, how can you contribute? If you want to contribute to this, the, the way to contact our team is to use the link that I shared below, the AKAMS Dev New Outlook. That will open a survey for you that you can, we're going to get some information about your scenario, what are your target customers. You are able to provide your contact information if you want to share your contact information with us. And once you do that, we can engage with you and kind of disclose most more closely you know what uh, the plans that we have for a specific scenario and of course uh, uh, we're open to feedback right now we need your feedback folks and that, and that's it that's the information that I have for now the bottom line of my message here is we know that the new outlook is coming web admins are going to be the main extensibility option for the new outlook and the team is super committed, folks, uh, to add the richness needed to move your existing investments into web addings. And with that, I will take it back to you, Pritika. Great. Thanks, Juan. That was an awesome presentation, Juan and Nikita.